Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Mihir here with us, who recently got into SAP Labs through his campus placements at VIT, and he is here to share his interview experience with us. Before we talk to him, let's just look at the eligibility criteria. All computer science and circuit branches were eligible. 60% or 6 CGPA in 10th and 12th, and 70% or 7 CGPA in pursuing degree with no standing arrears were eligible. Hi Mihir, uh, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Uh, yeah, so would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, sure. Hi all, I am Mehir Suman, currently pursuing B.Tech in Computer Science and Engineering from VIT Chennai. I am actually in my last semester and I have currently back internship plus full-time opportunity at SAP Labs Bangalore as a software developer. Okay. Yeah, that's it from my side. Okay, that's great and Thank you. you can now tell us about your hiring process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Yeah, sure. So as you know, our SAP Labs, it's the German company. Uh, we are basically a ERP making software company. We outsource them for other companies. And this SAP Labs came uh, around like uh, middle of November. To be more precise, on 15th November was our online test. Okay. And it comprised of two coding questions, mm -hmm. which we have to complete in 45 minutes. Okay. As I can recall, there was no aptitude or any sort of that thing. Uh, so the judging criteria is was time I think because like uh, 1100 students were shortlisted hmm. and uh, 30 were qualified for the next round. Okay. So in the first round of coding uh, the questions were pretty much like from medium till advanced. Hmm. I can say I was able to solve with the help of vector. Uh, I can remember one was like remove duplicate elements hmm. and other was some sort of recursion was happening over there. Okay. So I think those persons who have done the questions within 15 to 20 minutes of time span Mm -hmm. they were able to qualify for the next round okay so the next round was on like after 10 days on 25th of november okay so 30 of us were qualified mm -hmm. yeah so it was on microsoft teams and uh, so th it was like technical round one so the interviewer was pretty chill uh, actually what i thought uh, it, it was my like uh, sixth interview i was firstly uh, placed in tcs so I thought like uh, for as of SAP, uh, they were more keen towards the basics rather than going in deep for any particular mm. tech stack. Mm. So they, uh, they introduced, uh, we introduced ourselves then some core concepts of OOPs were discussed uh, then the DBMS was discussed. Then they were more particular about networking because uh, their latest offering as of now is S4 HANA which is completely deployable in cloud. Okay. So cloud concepts were also being discussed. Mm. Some uh, discussions were also on Docker and Kubernetes, uh, which I was able to somewhat tell them. Okay. Yeah. So then there was the technical round two in which uh, the the interviewer uh, gave me a online compiler and told us to like code. Uh, first of all, she gave me a easy question uh, that was on oops about the four pillars. Like I have to like uh, just uh, implement them, but then they were uh, trying the uh, they were changing the scope of the variables and then trying different use cases that okay. what will happen if mm -hmm. we will do that. Mm -hmm. So I have to just, uh, so it was like a pseudo code approach. I have to give the approach. Okay. Not like uh, like uh, press the compile button, nothing of that sort. It mm -hmm. was just an interaction, a lively interaction over there. Yeah, so after that, uh, there was a deep discussion on the projects which I have done. I made some projects uh, which were on uh, parallel computing mm. and uh, uh, image processing also. Mm. So okay. they, they asked me some couple of questions on open CV and artificial intelligence and what I have done there over there. Yeah. Okay. So after that, uh, there was uh, some more discussion on link list, uh, how we will detect a loop in a link list. Mm. Yeah. So this was it. Uh, then it was followed by a MR round. So okay. MR round was like pretty much what I say, like the person who was taking, he was he was mainly interested in technical questions rather than managerial mm. questions. Okay. Yeah, so uh, so he asked me like, what you have done in the first two rounds? Then mm. I told him. Then the cross questioning was mainly on the technical aspect only. After that, uh, he he asked me a couple of questions on managerial round, like like how you will resolve the conflict in a workplace and what is the project which you have done with least interest and uh, were you able to complete it or not mm. like a very very good uh, so he was like just examining that whether i will be suitable for that role or not okay yeah so followed by that there was an hr round uh, uh, so whole day it took the whole day process it was the last round and at that time she was basically asking like how will be the relocation will you be able to relocate and what are your expectations from the current role 
so this was all about it okay yeah. so there were so the total of five and rounds and right yeah. precisely four rounds okay yeah, technical one technical two followed by mr then hr okay yeah. okay so after that you got the result yeah at 10 30 pm on that same night oh on the same day okay yeah okay great nine of us were selected from across all the four campuses okay okay that's great um congratulations and thank you for sharing your experience my pleasure thank you vishnu yeah um, do you have any suggestions for people who want to get into sap or any good company for that matter yeah it's not about sap it's like a whole generic interview process mm. from what i have experienced is that one should be true to himself as well as his resume mm. because he should cut down the sh- uh, list and make the skills according to him which he has done past 3 years in the college mm. also what i have seen is during the third year of, of college getting an internship is a boom and we have to struggle for it a lot mm. rather than our placements mm. placement i think is much more easier than the internship and if a person gets internship in third year then the pbo conversion becomes a cake pop for him mm. or her mm. so i suggest uh, my fellow mates uh, who are in first year or they are in second year so from the second year uh, be serious uh, be uh, clear in your road map and design a road maps so that uh, you can give uh, sufficient time to your computer fundamental subjects mm. as we have discussed like os dbms computer network on the same side you should also start uh, like first of all you should practice by hackering basic questions then uh, array then graphs and all you should progressively do it's a like gradual process for placement as you know mm. we should be completely have patience and then it will be a smooth walk for everyone yeah so okay. this was it okay so thank you again for sharing and yeah thank you yeah.